good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer. You have the Rhino, you have the uh, Sherpa Queen here. <laughs> and we have this beer from Florida. This is this is Orlando Brewing's I4 IPA. And uh, I4 is the interstate that goes into Florida, right? At least into Tampa. Not that much. <laughs> I think it goes east-west. Anyway, 5.8% alcohol by volume. Uh, nothing else really on here. Uh, damn good beer. Sorry, darn good beer because you can't swear you're from Florida. Darn good beer. It's warm in Florida. It's warm in my basement. Yeah, but it's colder than Mars out there. <laughs> As I drink this beer, I'm going to close my eyes and pretend that I'm in 20 degree plus weather. I played a guessing game with Aid tonight. He described Rudolph, and then I described what character is big and white and hairy. Santa? Daddy. Santa and Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, the abominable snow monster. <laughs> big white and hairy. Daddy. Thank you. Little tiny sip for you. I don't think I like this. Oh. So, color is beautiful. It's a reddish color. That's And hazy. That's awesome. Looks like a few little sea monkeys in there. Oh, yeah. Hey, baby sea monkeys. So they don't filter out their hops. <laughs> Ooh, floral. Very floral. It actually kind of reminds me of Dawn dish detergent. It smells soapish. Yeah, that's about what I say. It smells really soapy. That's the first thing I got. It smells like soap. <laughs> I don't think it smells like soap. Can you mention it's soap? I don't know, the other day I put a pan in the oven and it smelled like dish soap when it came out. And I was like, this is not good. <laughs> This fucking smells like soap. Smells like Thai cold. No, it doesn't actually. <laughs> but it does. It smells like Dawn dish detergent yeah. to me. I I smelt it again hops, thinking. But... I smelt it again thinking that it might have been one of my laundry detergents. But and it might have been. It might have been when we were using Gain. When we were. Uh, I don't think I would money. want my laundry to smell like that's this. What, that's what we use, don't we? <laughs> don't we use Gain? Yeah, but I don't think it's... Uh... We use those Gain pocket packets. Let's try it. Cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> she jokes over there. Gagging. Um. I'm not sure that it really has much of a taste at all. No. Whoa. A little bit of malt on the forefront, a little bit of malt and molasses, and a little bit of just like dirty bitterness on the background. I does not taste like an IPA. Yeah, when you breathe out through your like through your nose, you can kind of draw it in on your on your back of your. It uh, reminds it me of an English like of an, an English IPA. pale ale, not not really an Eng, not even an English IPA, but an English pale ale is what it reminds me of. There's very little aftertaste. There's very little taste. Period. This yeah, is this, this is, is a really this is a great intro beer if somebody has only drank muted. if somebody's only been drinking Bud and Coors and PBR and all that, okay. and they want to drink something that has actual actual flavor. Yeah, like a little bit of yeah. You're just moving up. You're just yeah. moving up from uh, baby steps. The baby steps. Even baby before you get to Sam Adams, yeah, I'd go to this. Yeah. Because Sam Adams has more of a uh, hoppy backbone than this does. Even their Boston Lager. Yeah. It's not a bad beer. It's just not something. I, I could see myself, if I'm in Florida and I'm in a spot that doesn't have a great craft beer selection and this is sitting there, I could drink this all day long. Because it doesn't have a taste. As long as I'm not sniffing it. Because I don't really like that smell. It doesn't no. taste like dish soap. I'm not happy with it <laughs> at all. see your face right now. He's like, <laughs> the smell just th The smell just threw me right off. Mm. And then I was like, well, you know what? It could smell bad, but it could taste really good. But no. Well, it just doesn't taste bad, and I mean, it's all right. In in all honesty, what what do you like? We all want those cool beers. We all want yeah, it yeah. like that, but you're not always gonna find it. And it's just great to have a beer that it's isn't disgusting. Mm -hmm. 
That's it. It's just yeah. not a bad beer. It's just not a good beer. No. I get a little sweet after, I think. Just a little tiny bit. I'd probably give it a 6.75. I could drink it all day, every day. I just wouldn't want to spend my own money on it. <laughs> um, so you're a free love. I, <laughs> I'd probably say that I would give it a 6. Because I like my IPAs a little... Okay, a lot hoppier. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you YouTube for watching. That was the Orlando, uh, Orlando Beer Company's I-4 IPA. Bye.